โอเคสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสบายดีหรือเปล่าครับนิเชิดสบายดีครับสบายดีครับสบายดีหรือเปล่าครับสบายดีนะกำลังพูดไทยอยู่ครับ This is Stuart J Raj and Richard Gotts here Hi good afternoon and um, we're here for another uh, catch up meeting to see how the uh, the cracking tie fundamentals challenge has been going um, now Andrew we have to apologize that uh, Andrew Smith He's in Australia at the moment. Tomorrow he'll be flying back to Bangkok. That he had a car accident. So, um, uh, so luckily he wasn't hurt, but he hasn't been able to make it to where he'll be uh, shooting with us today. So um, if he can get back in time, hopefully he'll come online. But he's trying to sort things out with his car. So uh, wishes uh, are with you, Andrew. But let's get on with today's. Um, Catch up meeting and uh, see how see, see how you've been learning, Richard. Uh, what have you been doing this past week? So this past week was actually really useful, as we were practicing a lot before how to use our mouse and the tongs and the tones. This week we went more into it, like we trying to read and write. So can you give me the concern? Yes. Uh, here you go. So basically, what we were doing this week, as all of you know, we have. Uh, you can probably bring it closer in there too. Yes, yeah. we have the sounds which is uh, made in the throat. The one which is uh, you're doing it close to your teeth, but on the top of your mouth. Let me you hold have, it for you. You have the yeah. dental sounds. Yeah. And you have the what what you make with your lips, for example, the P and B sounds. So each column you can see you have the the middle class, for example, the high class and the low class letters and tones. So basically, what we were doing uh, is, if Stuart tells me, uh, okay, well let, let let's do this. Um, it's, it's better to explain it this way. So so by, and, and so we've got our in Thai. If you if you break it down like this, you have this column here. The first column are all the high class. Uh, sorry, all the middle class. So that means the throat's cut off. That's what this glyph here means. The next one is the high class. And so in Thai, these are where the what happens with the high class? The it's high class is always rising and with aspirated. So can you give me an example of a rising tone? For example, ha, ha, ha. Good, right. So that would be this one here, and then the low class, which all of these, which used to all be the vocals in in um, Sanskrit, have turned to the non-voiced, but they're um they're also aspirated, aspirated. but they are common like ha. Good. So if I, I'm going to say uh, this is one of the exercises we did, I'm going to say a word, and I'd like you to point which letter it is, or so where it would be located on this. And I'm not using any tone markers at the moment. Okay. Okay. Sure. Um, so this one would be because this one is made with your lips. Yeah. So this one would be this letter here. Perfect. Um, how about this? Um, Nah. Oh, sorry. I said no tone markers. Let me let me um do it. Um, me. This one in the would be in the nasal. Yeah. Definitely. And this one is a low class. So yeah. this one. Me. Mm, where is it being produced from? Me. No, sorry. This one. Got it. And so this um, and because so this, this one's the dental. Yeah. yeah. How about yeah. this word? Um. Tone. This one is a dental sound for sure, and uh, this one is a rising and aspirated. So this would be. Look at that tone. So this, so you can see that Richard, even though he doesn't know all the shapes of the letters yet, it doesn't matter. Um, what he's been doing is embedding this whole system into his subconscious, so he can start to at least feel the nature of sounds in Thai. Now have it's a look amazing. at this. So so we've got that, and and again we, we talk about tones and tone markers, but it's all throat positions. So we know just quickly what happens now with the mayek, this this thing we call it the coyote and cracking type fundamentals. What happens to the coyote or mayek when it hits a high class? So the mayek is going to be a low tone, but uh, sorry, what? Yeah, in high class is low. Yep, the high class is going to be low tone. It's lower than. So can you give an example? For example, the yeah okay that that's on yeah it has yep. to be aspirated aspirated yeah in high class and then in middle class it's also gonna be low tone uh, and aspirated right 
and then uh, in the low class it's going to be rising. It's going to yeah rising. Uh, the May eight on the low class. What happens to him when he's on no, that thing? Sorry, it's a falling one. So give us an example. For example, uh, huh. yeah. Well, that's that's, I mean, that's, that's a that's falling that. tone. Yeah, falling tone. So um, ha would be there. Exactly. Um, and so we did the same stuff. So let's just do one. Uh, if I give you the word. Um, Bah. Okay, so this would be here. Yeah. Can, can you say it again? Bah. And then because this one is uh, you're right. This one. You're up. Bah. Not pa, but pa. Okay. Yeah, this one is because it's cut in the throat, so it's gonna be a uh, middle class. Great. So basically, what Richard has done an amazing thing today. We've um. Now Richard has a has a business and everything to, to run and, and sign and get ready, but even doing that, he's been able to come in and learn and spend the time to go through. And now the first few weeks are learning all about um, how your mouth works and the sounds, the tones, um, and meanings. But now we're really getting into um, looking at real samples of Thai. Sure. And and so once you can do this, well, you tell what, what's the benefit of doing this. I mean, it's so difficult to explain, but the amazing thing with this, I actually, if it's you are, say, a letter or a sound or a word, I can point on it so I can set, so show it on the map, like which letter was it, without an English example. So this is right. This is just amazing. If, um, you, if you have a look here, like everything in Thai, there's not a single English letter on this map. So I just recognize which tone is it. And then which tone marker, and I have to decide if it's high class, low class, or middle class. And I have to, if I can recognize the, if the sound made with your, for example, it's a dental sound or a brutal sound, you can figure that you can figure this out easily. And and actually, in cracking type fundamentals, we have. Um, let me just share the screen. I'll, I'll I'll just put it up. But I've actually created that um, consonant map for everybody to use. So I'm just opening it up here, jacademy.com slash, and everybody could uh, go to this if you jacademy.com slash consonant dash map consonant map, um, and I'll just share my screen with you now. Uh, one moment, I've got to find out screen share, and here we are. And start. What oh, page not found? Consonant map. Maybe uh, it hasn't got a space there. Um, oh, I'll just go in and I'll, I'll pull it up. I've got the link in here. Um, so here we are. Free, free modules. Indic consonant. Co oh, sorry, it's consonant compass. So if you go to uh, jacademy.com. Uh, this is, but you can just type in uh, consonant compass. So I'll just bring you to the same page. Consonant dash compass, and hit enter. That's it. And so it will load up there, and you can see exactly what uh, we were talking about. Um, you might want to go on with us here. Um, we'll just wait for it to load up there. But this is a tool that you can use, so you don't need to use any English or Roman transliterations if you don't want. You can um, you can just use the the letters that are okay. So that's taking a while to um, to load. So I'll I'll bring back to our um, camera. Okay, so we're back on the camera now. But I'll show you another exercise that we've just done. Now, if you can have a look at this page here, I have just written this down, and all I've done is put vowel frames there. Now, Richard has not yet mastered all the vowel frames, so that's okay. I wrote the frame down and what it is. So this is a, ah, the next word, e, the next word is e, eh, the next one is a, ah, the next one is e, and this last one here is e. So this is an activity that is going to embrace everything that Richard has learned. <laughs> so um, first of all, could you just point, Richard, or you could use the uh, pen here, where would we break this up into words? Now this is a problem for many um, 
many learners of Thai thinking there's no spaces. So it's one thing we're looking at vowel frames. So where do the frames begin and end? Where are the words beginning and end? Okay, I hope I will get this correct. Uh, I will put the first one here. Yeah. We we'll probably use this one. It's going to be clear. There you go. Yep. So the first one's there. Second one, I will put it here. Yeah. And then like this. Yeah. So this is another thing that Richard, you've got them all right. Congratulations, yes, <laughs> by the way. Um, but this is this is another thing that Richard's been doing. So this whole time building the the background up. Now he can look at this and start to feel where the vowel frames are. Um, and so the word here that I've said is wani ben wan tidi. Wani ben wan tidi. Now let's see if. Um, that map has loaded up now. It has loaded up. So I'm going to get Richard to, to push these as we go. So um, I'll just do another screen share for you now. Okay, so the screen should be coming up. Uh, Richard, so let me, that's on Sanskrit. I'll just turn to Thai. And let me, um, I'll just bring it straight into the Thai letters there. I might zoom in to make it bigger. All right. I don't know if I can make it bigger here. Um, Okay, it looks like it's no, it's not going to go bigger. That's okay. Um, so let's have a look. You, you use the mouse, click on where the one is. So where's the w? Okay, this would be what It's a semi-vowel, right? This, what? this one. Right there. That's that's the m. That's it. They're, they're in the nasal ones. There. Where's the semi-vowels? Yara lawa. Okay. Yara lawa. Yeah. Wani. Yara lawa. I got used to that map. That's yeah. the thing. I'm too sure this one. Okay. So that's okay. So let's see where it is, and then you can do the same one. So yara lawa. Okay. Okay. So it would be this one. This one here. Wa. Got it. And that's the one. You can see it comes out. And then what happens? We would fill it in. And so um. I'll just bring it back to the screen now. Okay, let me write the letter again. Yep, and so now, when you're on that, you can get this pen here. And so what letter would that be? This is what? Wani. Um, this whole thing is, as, as Richard is doing this, I'll just um, talk. And then, now let's get the next one. No. So where would the no come from on the map? Okay, so the no would be this letter here. Got it. Okay, just notice there's no English letter no there. This one. Got it. Okay, so could you write that in? Yeah. One knee. Again, Richard, and this is a this is a great thing. We've broken out of. The, the the shackles of having to write in transliteration even before he can write entirely in English. Um, and, and then we, the next one is ni. Got it, one ni. So, so it's also an M. Got it. It's the same sound. Okay, so okay, so let me just show what Richard's done here. That's fantastic. One now, if you, if you read that there, that's, can you say that for me? One knee. Okay, now you notice that this one here is one knee, but I said one knee. How do you turn that knee into a knee? So I have to put in my egg. Uh, knee, how do you make the low class high? Uh, so my toe. Got it. Which is people on top of it. Yeah. Got it. So Richard is now done. One knee, and that's it. And so uh, we, we can see we've actually done one of these exercises. Where's the paper that we were uh, doing it? I think this one. Oh, this is it? Yeah. And you can see here, this is uh, Richard's work. Um, oh, no, that's a, that's another one. That's the, <laughs> maybe, maybe that was another exercise. No, this one, sorry. No, oh, there it is. This one. Got it. So if you have a look here. This is that one. So Wanib and Wantidi, and and this is, this is my writing on top. He's worked that out. 
he got all the first thing to do is get all the tones right and then fill them in. And you can see down here is even a pseudo code. Even if you don't know all the um, letters in Thai, that's okay. You can start writing it down. And the great thing is you've got Google. You've, uh, Google Translate has a virtual keyboard. You can go in and start to get real samples of language, type them out, cut and paste them, and work out how they're said, um, which you're going to be doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. And this week was the, so useful for me, I think. And I'm going to just keep practicing these uh, consonant maps. There's also the wells and the consonants, plus the my ek and my to. And then as, as soon as I feel all this from, from my heart and I can build it in my body, I will be able to read for sure. And, and now that Within a week or maybe maximum two weeks, I might be reading Thai. Yeah, I, I believe you. And you've got those kids' books at home that you can go through. Yeah. Um, I can now, practice the letters, how to write the Thai letters. So still got us kids, kids books basically. What they, what kids use in elementary schools when they are learning writing. Thai. Right, and and you've been doing you've been doing the two styles. There's the uh, exactly. the normal ones and also the angle ones, the right? The angles, yeah, sure. Yeah, um, and then now let's just see how you say that because it's one thing to be able to write it and hear it, but now let's see how you're able to reproduce those tones, which is really important. So let's say let's see. What knee? What knee? Pen one. Pen one. T D. T D. T D. T D. You remember now that tone can be reinforced. Think of the mate egg on the T. So one T D. One T D. One even one T D. One knee. One knee. Pen one T D. Pen one T D. Can you hear that now? Even though he doesn't know all the consonants, he's able to reproduce. The tones, <laughs> the sounds, and it's fantastic. One e and one td, one e and one td. Each tone was spot on there, so um, that's that's fantastic work. You're at a point now with the base of phonetics, tones, uh, understanding the system that it's built on, that you can go in and start learning from real Thai now. Hundred <laughs> percent. And uh, and and he's also you've just started typing. As of today, right? Exactly, and Thai as well. Yeah. So you can practice that also with the Google Translators, and basically because you have. I'll the, show them what we were doing. Um, you keep talking. You have a keyboard there. If you go into Google Translator, and you put the language on Thai, and then to translate in English, there's a small keyboard. So if you press you click it, here, if you yeah. click on it, exactly, you will get the Thai keyboard basically. Yeah. So you just type in your English keyboard, where you will get the Thai letters with a with a pronunciation under it, with English letters, plus you will get the the meaning in English on the right side. And so you just follow the keyboard. If you get them wrong the first time, doesn't matter. So one even one TD, and there you see straight in Google. That's ex well, Sorry. That's um, exactly what it means. Today was a good day. One today is a good day. So. Um, I think that's a, a lot of stuff we've done this week. Sure. I see. It's I really see. Useful. I see some questions coming up here. Uh, let me just turn back to uh, get the camera on. Um, okay. So answering question. We'll go into question answer time now. Uh, we've got some questions shooting up here. So I'll select uh, the first question there from uh, Carol. Uh, is there a printable version like the one I'm using? Yes. Um, this chart here is actually available for free download. If you um, just Google now, um, Indic, uh, oh sorry, Thai consonants, Stu J, and I think it's in my, uh, you can go to my old website, stuj.com, and I'll put it up on J Academy as well as a download. Um, so if we go to stuj.com, um, I trust that I haven't seen this. This is an old site. You can go to downloads, and there you are. You have the Thai consonant map there, and you can click on that into downloads. It's download number nine, and just download that very chart that Richard was using, and that's two pages. Um, on the back of that chart, you actually have the phonetics and all the tone rules and everything, so it's a very good tool to have. Um, but you can also come here and just go into jacademy.com consonant compass and you can get 
this chart and it tells you for today all the tone classes, uh, sorry, all the consonant classes, Ta. where it's produced from in your mouth. And if you sign up for a free account on Jacademy, um, I've given, if you look here in the free lessons, you get that consonant compass and the uh, cracking indig based scripts, which basically unlocks all of this the sounds and, and working out, and you basically get a very, very solid foundation on the phonetics of Thai, the phonetics in general, how your mouth works, so then you can do what Richard's just done and reproduce them. And so there's the course. So, uh, Carol, I hope that's answered the question for you. Um, question number two, Chris. Um, Stu, do you think the lack of focus on articulatory phonetics uh, is because so few people are qualified to teach it or because they don't want to be upfront with the difficulty. Uh, it's not English at all, but let's uh, pretend it sort of is like the per and the po. Um, I'm with you, Chris. <laughs> Let me ask you, so basically what that question means is some people go into a language thinking that focusing on how sounds work isn't that important. You just have to get out there and, and try what you can. It is really important in Thai, I'm sure. Tell me why. Because in Thai language, some words are aspirated. It can be a P like P, huh? or a P like P, or, but, it can yeah. be a P, or it can be a P like P, and it all has different meanings. So I think it's really important for the uh, Thai language to pronounce the words or the letters in a correct way. Yeah, and, and, and the thing is with Thai, um, and, 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 and getting those things, because you might get some uh, mercy in a language like English where there are people from all over the world who speak English and you hear people speaking in different accents and it's nothing. But if you're in Thai and uh, you, you say something the wrong way, it can mean something very different. And e even if you speak with a different Thai accent and you're, say, in Bangkok, some people just go, huh? And it's that, huh? You know, what, what, what are you saying? It destroys the confidence and you don't want to learn anymore. So um, I think that learning, learning about sounds and articulation, um, it, I just wish it was taught in kindergarten uh, to most kids and IPA was sort of something that was known across the board. It would make language uh, learning and instruction a lot easier. But you're right, Chris, I think a lot of people run away from it because they think it's hard and then they jump in and they hit a wall because they can't pronounce things properly when they, and, or people don't understand them. And then they go and say, you know, everyone else is wrong, they're pronouncing it right. Uh, but anyway, that's, that's my opinion. Some people mightn't agree with that. Um, we have another question here. Um, let me have, have a look here. I struggled learning the tone rules. It's easier for me to just learn how to spell every word I stumble on. Many Thai friends learned it that way too. Do you see a big disadvantage in my way of doing it? Uh, I start to understand the rules while using the language. Um, you've just learned the tone rules. You're fresh off learning the tone rules this week. Can you tell them how you learned the tone rules? What do you mean? You don't talk, so about what those rules are. Uh, and for example, if there's a Mayak, the high class. Tell the story. <laughs> so the story is with my act. There is the coyote on the cliff. So the coyote so and roadrunner. Coyote yeah. Push down the high class. So the high class gonna be a lot of common tone. I'm sorry, high class went up with a my act. He goes down. Yeah, to the low, low tone. Low yeah. tone, but I mean it's gonna be common, but yeah. the lower tone. Yeah. The middle class gonna go down to the same way. Yeah. And then the low class gonna uh, fall. Of the edge. Of the edge. So it's going to be like a falling tone. Like a ha, for yeah. example. And with, uh, with the my tall. My tall is Robin Hood. So <laughs> yeah. it's, it's the Robin Hood kind of. So the actually the high class is going to fall down. Yeah. And the middle class is going to have a falling tone also. And the low class is going to have a high tone, which starts high and rising. So And the, the analogy we used was my tall is like Robin Hood. Robin Hood steals from the rich, gives to the poor. So Robin Hood despises the high class and the middle class, but he loves the low class. So he pulls the high class and middle class and makes them fall from their pedestals, while the low class 
Um, he could hand them out ladders or joints, whatever, but he gets to low class. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. And, and so, um, hi. hi, hi in the sky, so it works like nam. Uh, <laughs> now, what Richard has done there, the reason why I didn't just give him a table and say memorize this is because learning tables and things like that, when you come into using the language, um, is, becomes a barrier. What Richard's able to do through learning stories is get that emotion and just start to feel where the tone should be and then superimpose it over this which is already embedded in here. Um, there's nothing wrong with learning it that way but then the jump is going to be how do you put that into real live active practice. Um, okay, the rules when writing and not speaking uh, that, that have just come here. Okay, so, so not being able to remember it. Again, if you can remember those stories um, just two stories, and then we've got a story about death, so dead, dead syllables. Um, just through three stories, you've got all the tone rules there. Um, I would just say, whatever it is you, you learn, try and hook it into some kind of emotion, color, sound, pictures, because it's going to make it much more natural when, you, um, when you're looking at it and it's responding, whether it's reading text or speaking. Um, so anyway, I, I think, are there any more questions there? Um, okay, there you go. So uh, we, we have some there. Uh, I think we've gone on about half an hour now. Next week we're going to be back with Andrew as well. Sure. Andrew's got a bit of catching up to do because this accident has uh, thrown him out. But uh, I'll be working with Andrew over the next week to bring him up to to speed. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to practice myself a lot. And the things you're going to be practicing next week, typing. Sure. Getting all of these built into you, and uh, Richard has the kids' books too. I'm reading also, actually, I have it. You have it here. Ah, oh, you have you got both oh, of yeah. them? Only one of them. Okay, so show show this. This is the kids' book. What I'm actually using yep. to learn the one kind of Thai. So you have basically all the Thai letters in it. So you can just start learn how to how you have to write them. Plus the meaning of the how you have to pronounce them with which tone. And see see this here. And so as he's been learning the letters, Richard has also been seeing where they correspond on the chart. Mm -hmm. And um, and now the step that he's jumped into today is now he can type it. And so once you can type it, it's uh it it, it takes you into a whole new level because you can start getting things from the internet. Um, <laughs> here, here, here's one question. Is there going to be a di special discount for those who have watched this Hangout? Um, I tell you what, if you get in now, um, you're, you're at, still at the discount price because we still have three modules to go to complete the full Cracking Thai course. And, and my apologies to people who have uh, already signed up. And, and right now you've got four modules sitting in there. There's going to be three more. So if you get in now, you can still get in at the discount price, which is $69. Um, because soon, as when those modules come in, the price is going to go up. Because this this full course that I normally run over two days goes for about four hundred dollars for for the two day course, and you don't get the tools and everything. Now you're getting all the tools and um, everything, and the price is it's going to go up, but not a lot. So if you get in now, you're still in at the discounted price, and um, you can also go in and and take all the tie bites too. We have um, almost thirty tie bites. You'll get one Thai lesson a day that's built on all of this system. It goes everything where from slang to writing to uh, speaking to reading. So um, you can go in there and enjoy those Thai bites. You get one fed to you a day. Um, so anyway, I can see uh, that there are actually more questions shooting in there, but I think I'll save those and we can incorporate those into our time next week. I want to say thank you very much to Richard. Thank you for using you. And um, thank you for thank everybody you for watching us. Yeah, thank you for watching us. Um, uh, hi to Richard's mum. I'm sure you're watching out there. You'll see this. Hey, mum, love you. <laughs> and uh, and we'll see you next week. Stay posted. This same website, jacademycom slash challenge and um, you'll be able to see us live next week, and we'll post the date up very soon. Thank you, everybody. And the uh, na kan kalakan kap. Thank you very much. สวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ